Hello? Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, yeah thanks. Good. How, How are you? you? All right. That's good. Uh, well, it looks yeah. like a lot yeah. of, like, uh, Ojewal and Azmet and Paras are not going to join us. They have, like, a paper due tomorrow. So they're going to do their paper and then update later on, maybe, like, you know, this weekend or something. So okay. uh, why don't we get an update from you on your work? What have you been up to this yes, week? Yes, sure. Uh can we get started with the boards? We can start with the boards, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me actually share my screen with you. Might as well. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, sir, I can see. Okay, you can see the board. Now, let me give you a link to the board, too. So you can uh, interact with it as well. Yes. All right. All right, there's GSOC 2019, and we have our projects. We go to that tab. We go to the Summer Code Project board, and... In progress and to do. So in progress, of course, we have the implementation of plugin development, scheduling additional time for enhancement. That is number 16. You said something about yes, finishing sir. that? Oh, number 16 and number 27 are interlinked, I think, because uh, uh, we need to, we had this, we discussed about this problem where we need to take care of this outliers, right? So yeah. uh, we actually thought of uh, implementing that when we have some additional time after this phase three. Yes. So that should be, I think that, sh that should still be in progress. Okay, so 27 in progress and 16 is also in progress? Yeah, and if you can add the labels for them, uh, like link uh, link label to them, then that will be more clear. Yeah. Oh, I see. We have the regular uh, plugin that was finished number 13 this is a different plugin development issue so let me see if i can find the link uh, i don't think i put linked issues on this one but i'll do that after the meeting okay because i have them um, okay yeah and then, uh, so then those two, then number 17, begin work on semi-supervised approach. So uh, initially, I plan to do the uh, uh, semantic segmentation of stream images using both unsupervised and semi-supervised approach, right? Yeah. So uh, 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 because of those technical issues that I've had and uh, uh, some other issues, uh, we weren't able to start the semi-supervised approach. So basically what I wanted to propose is that uh, even for the semi-supervised approach, we would, our goal is the same, like to segment, to, to get the semantic segmentations of the SPIM images. So as we already have the output for from the unsupervised approach, so for, now, for this third phase, I think we can completely concentrate on tracking uh, bright field cells. Okay. What do you think about it? Uh, yeah, that would work. Um, yeah. So that's number 11. Yes, sir. So you want to put number, seven. number 11 in progress? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And then what about number uh, 17? What do you want to do with that issue? Um, so, uh, uh, like, now we have this uh, um, bright, uh, dealing with bright fields and also we need to deal with the outliers that are coming from the unsupervised approach. So I am guessing that the semi-supervised approach, uh, maybe if we get some time after these two, then we might, uh, we might, uh, start with it. So maybe we can, uh, bring that to, to do. Yeah. Put that back there. Yes. Number 17. Um, and then, okay. So the, 27 and 11 are linked as well, I guess. 
or are they not? Uh, uh, no, sir. Twenty. Uh, twenty-seven is for uh, unsupervised approach. Like in the unsu, in the plugin that I've showed you uh, the last week, I've showed you a demo, right? Yeah. In that, there are some white blobs that are coming uh, as part of uh, like uh, the model is uh, thinking that some random white blobs are also part of the cell. So that is regarding the spin images. That's the unsupervised approach. And segmenting the bright field images, that is related to the cell star algorithm that we have discussed. and also the web app that we have discussed it's regarding that okay okay yeah. yeah yeah so all right and then number 28 finish process pixels plugin yeah that is nothing but i mean, i just had to rename the plugin here and there i i, I took the basic template a uh, plugin template and then i have developed my code and i have completed the unsupervised uh, plugin So last week uh, I did not uh, change the name to unsupervised. Now I renamed it, so it's a simple thing that I've uh, done. I think that can be moved to the done, okay. done tab. Yeah. I'll be uploading the uh, also I'll I'll be uploading the documentation oh, by tomorrow, maybe at a maximum tomorrow. Okay. Regarding the unsupervised, like what all we have done for the unsupervised. I'm just making a new issue here. That's a short. That'll be very easy to keep track. I'll just assign it to you, and you can upload it whenever you're ready. Okay, we'll just put. Yes, I'll I'll screen. create a pull pull request and I'll notify you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So that's number thirty-two. Uh, and then number thirty-one, data for centroid position and labels. Yeah, as we discussed in uh, in the last week, like you told me that we have some data regarding uh, regarding the labels of each, uh, like uh, the names of each of the cell, and we've discussed about this uh, the spatial, like the spatial relation between the cells is not is not much varying. So if I can get that. I've actually uh, seen some approaches where we can uh, uh, tag those, uh, tag the cells, and uh, keep keep a track on those cells as the process goes on. So if we can, if I can get the get the data uh, of regarding the regarding the cell names, then maybe I can try that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I I think that needs to be in in progress yet. Okay. Also, can okay. you post the link if you have it right now or later? Uh, the, link the link for the data. The data? Yes. I sir. think I just put it in like uh, sometime last week, so it's in this CSV file. If you go to this link on the in the oh, so I did not notice that. Oh, I put it in like a couple days ago, but um, okay. Yeah, and then you can look at it and ask me questions on Slack. I think that's. Probably, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward what the labels are, but um, yeah, yes, you'll probably need to we'll need to go through it a little bit more too. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, so okay, we have these number seventeen, number thirty one. We move back to to do uh, the okay. outreach. That's still to do. I mean, you know, that's on your that's not top priority, but. Uh, work on yeah. web app for cell star segmentation number twenty nine. Yeah, last week we decided to explore cell star algorithm for uh, segmenting bright field images, right, sir? So uh, they have a Python, uh, they have a Python package for that. So basically, what I wanted to do is that uh, using Django or uh, using Django or Flask, I wanted to build a web app which uh, from which the user can upload a bright bright field video and can download the segmented video. So uh, after that, uh, there is one problem that I faced because uh, that Python package is not yet released as a pip package because it's still under development. It's not, it's uh, that stable version is not it's not it's not released yet. So what I did is that I. Uh, I went through the code. I I tried to understand it. I tried to debug it, debug it, and try to and try to do it myself. But then there's a lot of uh, 
lot of work happening in the under the hood which i couldn't really grasp over the one week so the other alternative what i could do is that uh, they have the ready made uh, matplab plugins so i have searched for alternatives on how to use matplab matplab code in inside the python web apps so uh, using a heroku or some other platform we can uh, upload our matplab code uh, into the into our server and we can make python run back matplab code whenever a user uh, gets a like sense a video so basically that's my approach for what uh, the problem i faced oh okay That that sounds good, and it I'll runs MATLAB kind of autonomously. It doesn't require like MATLAB to be yes, run in the background, or yes, yes. I uh, like the user won't be bothered about uh, if, uh, if uh, on what algorithm uh, on what and which script the algorithm is running on. I like uh, it. He'll be completely unaware. So my plan is to make uh, MATLAB code run inside the Python web app. Okay. I yes sir. I think we can create a issue on that. I already did some progress on that. So the code is not yet ready to show. Like I'm still doing some small experiments. Okay. We can do that in in progress. We can put that in in progress. Which one is this? Is a new issue or? Yeah, the the issue is to uh, get MATLAB code running inside Python web apps. to do and then we'll sign it to you and then that's sure. something that you're kind of working the kinks out of yeah okay okay uh then number 30 work on labeling cells at different stages yeah uh, i'm really sorry that i had not noticed your comment on that issue like yeah. i was actually uh busy with this matlab work and i did not ask you for the data so if now i got that uh, csv file now i can start working on that uh labeling cells at different stages as well yeah yeah yes sir. all right so then that's all for the issues that we have are there any other issues you can think of that you need to do need to put on the board I'm not so pretty much. Uh, I think uh, we're well on track to uh, build a uh, complete web app by the end of uh, this phase three. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, like even uh, yes. Sir. Oh no, go ahead. Oh, uh, so even if there's something wrong, uh, I think this stage, this while uh, one last month is very crucial. So I would uh, keep on updating you daily wise, like. on each day or every two days i wanted to keep you updated on what's happening yeah from that'd be today good, good idea yes, yeah if, if you have any especially if you have any problems but even if you don't just to yes, show sir. me uh, what's going on so that looks good uh, uh you should you you feel pretty yeah. confident that you can get everything done cuz there's going to be a push at the end where you have to get then you, there's a there's a thing at the end of the um so at the end of the program you're going to have to have uh you're going to have to submit your project from like a single repository yeah. and then what they do is they down they basically clone the repository and they run it and that's that's how you like okay. pass the program so you have to like be, like I've had people in the past use like just repositories or you know just even the matlab repository but make sure everything's labeled mm -hmm. make sure everything makes sense it's well documented um you know maybe yes, we we spend a little bit of time like in the last week going through the organization and then make sure it runs yeah. critically <laughs> so just want yes, to keep sure. you aware of that because that's going to be like the whole thing um so uh let's see i can stop sharing my screen so is there anything else you wanted to share you have any demos to show or 
like uh, like uh, like i said the code is not yet ready like i am still doing small small experiments so basically uh, like uh, whenever it's ready i can ping you and uh, if we uh, if you are free for 5 minutes i can show you then and there like in a couple of days or so okay like presently i don't have uh, ni- anything nice to show you like which which produce like good results Okay. I'm like in a midway situation, so in a couple of days I'll be able to make some uh, demo to you. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Thanks yes, for the sir. update, and um, good luck this week. Um, yes, sir. Thank you so much. And we'll see. Yeah, Slack. Send me a message on Slack if you have any issues, or keep me updated.